Okay, so... Oh, Ultimate Shadows is try putting cover and counter on the same character. It's a great combo. You're right. I'm starting to remember that. Because what happens is... Yeah, what do I want him to have? Lightning? Or fire? Fire. Because if you do cover and counter, he'll cover other characters and then counter attack when he gets hit. So you basically get a ton of extra hits. Yeah. And then having it on Barrett is even better because Barrett could shoot anyone from any point. All right, so where am I going right now? There's, okay, there's Nibelheim. I think we go this way. Aha. You've arrived. What's that? Oh, I think I know where we are. A rusty old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. Let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. A shotgun for Vincent. Shall we buy it? Golden armlet. Wow. Literally everyone could use this. We should get eight of them. We should. Strength plus 10. Oh my god, these are great. Strength plus 10. Vitality plus 10. Magic plus 10. Spirit plus 10. 10. 10. Oh, I'm going to buy one. I'm not going to buy too many. They're too expensive. Okay. Okay. So the Shinro beta now finally sucks. It took a long time. So let's give him strength plus 10. And since he's going to be taking hits, he should get the protect vest to get vitality plus 10. So he'll be taking hits with the cover. See that? All right. Now she can do something different here. All ice. How about that? I like this song. Well, Dwayne just earned himself a permanent ban by saying a word that's not allowed and insulting someone else. I bet the owner of this, gun, this store is a real gun fanatic. Congrats, Dwayne, on saying something fucked up and getting banned, you idiot. <clears throat> Anything in here? Reading his kitchen. Thank you, John. He says, hope you're doing good staying cool. It's hot as heck out. It's actually not hot here today. It's cooler. I turned the air conditioner basically on the fan because it's cooler here today. Let's hit the bathroom. How do I get into the storeroom? You see it? There's a storeroom behind him. But I don't see a way to access it. See? There's like a secret room behind him or something. Huh. Hmm, is it real or fake? Oh, it's the Mona Lisa. Look, it's a Mona Lisa on the wall. Shanghai Inn. Nah, I don't need to stay there for now. If you'd like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really his town's representative. You should talk with him, okay? Better ask the captain about this town. Captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shimmer was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see a man in a black cape? A man in a black cape? No, I've never seen him. Huh. A drink will ease your heart. I'm in here. I'm in here. <laughs> oh! I'm in here. Okay. <laughs> Interesting they put that kind of stuff in the game, huh? Having some ginseng tea? That sounds good, No Sleep Real Vibes. 
That trusted out, rusted out rocket is all that remains of the Shinra space program. It used to be a Shimmer base where they launched rockets. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shimmer number 26. It never got off the ground, though. All right. Yeah, like Johnny from Build Your Solid 1. <laughs> the Mad Shitter. Welcome. This is the item shop. Uh, What do you think? Any items I need? Let's take a look. I might buy a tent. Oh, wait a minute. What the? Wait a minute. This is the item shop. Oh, by the way, I sell materia. Okay, yeah, I'll buy barrier and exit. I don't have them. And I'll buy two tents. Now I have no money. I probably want to start doing these right away. Heal is useful, so I'm going to keep that on. Restore all. Revive, cover. What don't I need? Mystify. I don't need mystify. I want to exit, but you leave a dungeon. Barrier, barrier, magic barrier, reflect, and wall. This is huge. But it's a negative two strength. You nerf your strength. But it's kind of important, I feel. Bio is a good spell. I'm going to keep that. Do I want to start learning exit? I don't know. I can't remember if exit's any good or not. Okay. No, Dwayne's out here permanently. You guys have no idea what he said. He was really fucked up what he said to another chatter here. So I just banned him. He's an asshole. Like, it's, it's completely disrespectful to be insulting other chatters. You're not, it's not allowed. And there's no no uh, leniency on that. All Grimms does is gaze at that rocket all day long. <laughs> wow. Talk to the old guy again. He has a sword. It's not great, but he has it. The old guy? You mean outside? How do I leave? There it is. This guy? It just looms there. That's how the town got its name. Shimmer number 26. Want to look at the rocket? Yeah, let's take a look. James says, if you decide to do the weapon bosses, look into Yuffie's Lucky 7 build. You can one-shot the weapons if done right. Wow. That's the insanely... Isn't that the insanely uh, high luck skill, like you have to hit mass luck and you can insta-kill any enemy in the game. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, Scallop Potatoes, it was, an, it was a message that was filtered. You guys didn't see it. But the reason it got filtered is because he said some nasty stuff to someone. I get so impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a hobby. Out of appreciation, let me give you this. Yoshi Yuki. Yoshi Yuki? So... It's basically a very high uh, high attack. Sword is used when ally is down. What? Sword is used when an ally is down. What does that mean? So if someone gets knocked down, knocked down or knocked out, what does this do? I don't get it. I mean, it has terrible material use and, and plus... It's normal, so I'm not going to use it. He gives a huge attack buff with each dead ally. Oh! So when an ally dies, you become super powerful with this sword. All right. Cool. 61 Second Man just hit me $3 says, I love you, but I'm sick and tired of reverse psychology and macho head games. Play Ultra Street Fighter 4 and show us the alpha man you are. Uh, I was never good at Ultra Street Fighter 4. I didn't really care for Street Fighter 4 by that time that it came out. I did try it, but I didn't really like it that much. So, no, I'm not going to play Street Fighter 4. Okay. Thank you for the tip, though. Anything over here? Yeah, there's a house you can barely see. What the fuck? Man, I'm so bored. Is there anything that can excite me? Let's burn his house down, see how that excites him. Jeez, it's boring. Is there anything exciting gonna happen here? Pro tip, if you're bored, sitting on your couch with your hands on the side of your head writhing back and forth in boredom doesn't make you get excited. It just probably gives you a headache. JQ, JQKM says, attack times two with one ally, dead attack times three of two allies are dead. Damn. Two triple damage. My day's going good, Kagome. Thank you for asking. We're having a lot of fun with the gameplay through here of Final Fantasy VII. That rusted out rocket is all that remains of the Shindra space program. I think we already talked about Hmm, let's see. Do I know any good jokes? 
It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. What? What? What is this dialogue sometimes? Oh, look. Power source. Cool. Fuck it. I don't know. You tell me why the hell he says that. What does dialogue mean? It doesn't mean shit. Okay. Is Yuvi secretly a bad guy? Well, she has ulterior motives, as you'll find out later. But she has a whole plot line coming up. At least you can use everyone's bathroom. That's nice. Drill on. Oh, wait a minute. So, yeah, 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 I'm remembering this. So, this is cool because the drill arm actually gives you the double boost on your uh, materia. The problem is the drill arm is a close-range weapon. So, all his other weapons are long-range, so you can hit anyone from anywhere. With the drill arm, you'd have to put him in the front row, and you'd have to have him only be hitting grounded opponents, right? Yeah. So, I guess I don't want to use it. Even though you get double growth, he's not going to be very good in combat because of that. It's going to stifle him. A car? There's a car. And a gun. It's like someone's workshop. Like someone's working on a car. Oh, look! There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is pretty cool. Cloud, let's steal it. I love stealing from Shinra. Oh, um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara, and what are your names? I'm Cloud. Yuffie, I'm Yuffie. I'm Bar um, Barrett of Avalanche. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing approval from the space program. Huh? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? 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 Rufus sounds like a dog to me. I don't know. Rufus? The only other Rufus I know is from uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, played by George Carlin, the late, great George Carlin. And that was a good role. Good character. Mr. Carlin, may he rest in peace, did a great job. guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. I'm the captain. There he is. The character that's in every single Final Fantasy game, although he's a different character in every one. Sid. He's quite young in this one. Usually, Sid ends up being kind of an older character, and he always has something to do with mechanical stuff, like an airship or some kind of robotics. In Final Fantasy VI, he's actually a Magitech researcher. In Final Fantasy IV, he's actually the guy who is the repairman of the airships that the Empire flies around the planet. Um, so in this one, he's also a technical guy. There you go, Sid. By the way, they stopped putting Sid in the Final Fantasy games for some reason. I don't know why. But, eh, wasn't, wasn't Sid female in Final Fantasy XV? It was to be like the stupid, over-sexualized car mechanic. Okay. The se he listens to his theme song. Theme song's outstanding. What's up, Vexu? How you doing? Alright. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain Noob. What do you want? I'm gonna make him sound like Elvis. Tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the meaningless war, right? 
Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. <laughs> I'm gonna make it Belvis. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. Come on. And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everyone was going well. But because of that dumbass Shara, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plan. <laughs> I mean, I know. I'm making it sound like Elvis. After they told me how the future was space exploration, and they got my damn hopes up. Damn then! Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero, my dream was just a financial number for them. The game's good today, Jay. Thanks for asking. Tyler says, how many Final Fantasy games are there? Numbered 15. They're working on 16 right now, but there's tons of spinoffs. Look at this trusted, rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Dang, Nibbit. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Wow. That's it. So, is Rufus coming? Yeah, there must be news about restarting the space program. A young president, that's what we needed. He still has dreams, too. Can we borrow the tiny Bronco? Are you out of your damn mind? That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. All right. Okay. Cloud Sin and Vincent is the best squad, says Murdamel. Earlier people were saying that Vincent is the worst character in the game, so I don't know. I don't know who to believe. Oh, that was Sid's granddaughter, Sydney. Sid is in Final Fantasy 15. That's right, you're right. I'm close to finishing disc one, I'm being told. What's up, Big Boss? He's checking in. Great support chat. Yeah, it's a great, great day, Big Boss, for support and for engagement. Everything was good today. Every Final Fantasy streams are doing great, man. I have zero complaints. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 So what do I do now? I don't know what to do. First of all, let's save, but I don't know what to do next. Oh, I'm supposed to go back? I'm supposed to talk to his wife in the house? What house? The house was what, here? Excuse me, Cloud. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. Shit, Cheryl, what are you, blind? We got guests. Get some tea. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up. Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea. Or I'm damn I'm pissed. I'm ripping pissed. Cheryl, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco. Make sure to serve him some tea, all right? <laughs> Man, this sucks. Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. He's always like this? Damn, that's pretty bad. <laughs> no, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? 
Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired of waiting around for your ass. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that dang oxygen tank. Cheryl, be careful good. Be careful's good. But no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it just won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if a hell froze over. But, no buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be part of the launch of Shiver Number 26. We're totally not three identical generic guys who will never be in the game after this scene. <laughs> Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is to lift off. Yeah, I'll leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Sherman number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Sherman number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little shit? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, goddammit. Who the hell's still down there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara, what the hell are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little shit! It's gonna get so hot in there, there ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off. You're gonna burn to a crisp. You're gonna die. Don't you know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success and I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die! Sid, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Wait a minute! Sheriff's still in there! What are we gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shara! You wanna make me a murderer? Shara! Captain! Shara! Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara, hurry up, you're gonna die! 30 seconds until ignition, beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What, what am I supposed to do? Wow. 15 seconds till ignition, internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, outer space, all my dreams. Hey, ignite engine. Shit. Oh, uh, wouldn't it have been too late? The rocket took off, meaning the engines ignited, meaning Cheryl would have already been dead. How did... That doesn't make any sense at all. That literally made no sense whatsoever. She would still be dead. She would still be dead. <laughs> so what was the point? So now not only did you kill her, she died in vain because the space flight didn't happen. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was canceled. It's my fault that his dream was destroyed. <clears throat> That's why it's all right. I, I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. That's a fresh and son of a bastard. Shara, you still haven't served him tea! And by the way, someone just told me in the Japanese version, he's saying uh, to serve them alcohol, like hard liquor, but they censored the game for American or English-speaking audiences, so it says tea instead. Interesting. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? Come on. They're late. Where's Rufus? Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how ya been? 
Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring to keep me waiting? So, when's the space program going to start up again? Hey, hey! I don't know. The president's outside. Why don't you ask him? Shit. Good for nothing, fat ass. Don't say fat. Hey, hey, some tea. Can I have some too with lots of sugar and honey and... Oh, yeah, don't forget the lard. Lard? In tea? Ugh. Being me, asked, am I going to play straight all day on Tuesday? No. Straight is the first stream on Tuesday and on Wednesday. My day off is Thursday this week. Is President Rufus here to announce that he's going to restart the space program? Shit. Hey, hey, have we met before? Hey, hey, is the tea ready? With plenty of sugar and honey. Oh, yeah, don't forget the lard. That's so disgusting. The lard. Okay. John says the game is censored to his alcohol, but yet Barrett cusses the entire game. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but it seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. Now, I think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean, and that's why we want your plane. Shit. First the airship, then the rocket, now the tiny Bronco. Shimmer took outer space away from me. Now you want to take the sky away from me, too? Oh, my. <clears throat> you seem to forget. It was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Oh, uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Okay. <clears throat> Stuck. Here we go. Hmm. Why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building, when the president was killed. Oop. <clears throat> I'll see you tonight, Kagome. S -s -s Security! Oh shit, boss fight. Out of nowhere. Look at this jackass. Can you steal? Where do you steal from him? Zoop! Knocked him on his fat ass. Hey! <laughs> he slapped his butt! He slapped his fucking ass! Nothing to steal. <clears throat> oh, death blow. Miss. Slap that ass. Keep missing the death one sucks. Miss. Wow, he has high evade. Mako go. We're all missing. Bro, I don't have any items to throw. I could buy some. <clears throat> Ice too. Oh, we should have haste on everyone. Why didn't I do that? There we go. Greased lightning. Greased lightning. Go, greased lightning. Go, greased lightning. Yuffie's gonna fuck you up. <clears throat> Very nice. That Mako. Fire 
Io. Dude, it worked. It made him poison. Sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh, what the? What the hell? He got hit by a car. Oh. Of course he did. Of course the truck just drove up to the screen and flattened it. <laughs> Eden coat? I don't know what that is. I can't stop it. No, it's Barrett. <laughs> I can't stop it. Forget it. Get in. Oh, man. Well, we can fly now. <clears throat> Don't ask me how they're not flying off the plane because none of them are harnessed in in any way, but okay. Also, don't ask me who's flying the plane because there's no one in the pilot seat. That's an amazing jump. How do you get that vertical leap? Shit, the tail's been hit. Emergency landing. This is gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. So, Sid is the Dragoon of the game, so he can do amazing jumps. I mean, yes, it, you don't know that at this point, but yeah, you're right. It does make sense. She won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? Shit, do whatever you want. Sid, what do you do? What will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shara? Why? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus on the Shinra of the Shinra someday, too. <clears throat> I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? I don't care. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shimmer nowadays has got to be a numb skull. I like it. So where are we headed? Ruiz was going after Sephiroth at the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it, that Temple of the Ancients? I don't know. That numb skull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction. So maybe it's off of this way? Let's head for the land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients? That name bothers me. Hmm, how about going west? No reason. Uh, no reason at all. So she wants to go west for her plot line, I believe. You can cross shallow waters and rivers. You can't go up there. Put UV in the back row because she's going to be long range. Is she? Really? I don't remember that. Ah, can't get over there. So is it okay? That's where we just were. We can't go any further west yet. See, there's a big thing over here. We can't do that yet. <clears throat> At least in this plane. Can't see where to go. I don't know. This way? No sleep real vibes. That song does not ring a bell. Oh, look. Ice. First time we've seen that in the game. Is 
This is a dead end. Can't do anything here. What about this way? La, la, la. Oh, we can go here. Is that the Temple of the Ancients, do you think? Let's save. It might be. I'm not sure. Usually, the exploration of the open world is pretty linear. Either get Mount Nibel items or go west for Wu Tai. What is this? Oh, in the Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. Have you seen Sephiroth? Oh, the man in the black cape who was looking for the Temple of the Ancients. It's way down south on the other side of this town and the inland sea. It's the pyramid. Looking out of the forest, how do you get in? You need the keystone. What's a keystone? Just like it sounds, a rock that's a key. I heard some rich guy has it. Oh, well, he's got a lot of information. <clears throat> what happened? I don't need to go in. Want to buy something? It's a vendor. Oh, come on. I just bought all those gold bangles. Now they have diamond bangles. Look. So this is good stuff, but I can't afford it. I need to get a lot more money. Excavating here. Go to Wutai first. We gotta figure out how to get there. I couldn't find it. Tonight is the premiere of Super Mario Brothers 3. Okay. Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest just beyond here is called the Sleeping Forest. Right now, the forest is asleep. Anyone who wanders in while it's asleep gets confused. You can go in, but you may never come out. You can awaken the sleeping force with the lunar heart. Once awake, the force will open a road for you. We use the newest system to bear, find buried treasure. We use bombs to make earthquakes and check the sound waves given off by the tremors. Of course. Who doesn't do that? Okay. Alright, I guess we're done here for now. Come back later. Just keep exploring. I'm not sure where to go. People said go west, but I couldn't go west. It was blocked off. You can go all this central area, which is kind of cool. Island here. I don't know if there's anything on this. Here we are. Look at this. What is that? Is that... Oh! That's Midgar. You can go all the way back to the beginning of the game now if you want. I wonder if you go to Midgar, if there's anything new there now that you can go back at this rate. Go. Huh, on the schedule, I have the same time twice. My bad. I must have copy pasted the wrong thing. What town is this? I don't remember. So we can go all on the outside of the, the islands here. I don't know if this would lead me to anything I want to do over here or not. Hmm. You can go all the way back. Yeah, look. What's that? Oh, it's the Chocobo Farm. Okay. There's a beach on the southernmost tip of the continent on the left edge of the map. That's how you get to Wutai. Oh. I guess we'll go for a quick drive around the map and see if there's anywhere we want to visit. If not, we'll go to Wutai since it sounds like everyone wants me to go there first. This is when the game opens up and lets you do things in different orders. <clears throat> Terrible popping. So, in the remake, right, this is going to be in it, but it's going to be the same graphics. They're not going to upgrade them at all. Same exact graphics as here. Here's somewhere new. We haven't been here yet. It doesn't look like we can get to it, though. No. There's definitely a building or something there, but we can't get to it from here. It's a dead end, it looks like. <clears throat> okay. Ah, Fort Condor. Damn, I haven't been there in a million years. I was going to do the minigame, and it didn't work. I wasted all my money. Remember, I paid so much money for it, and I never got to do it. 
I'm completely cheating. I was. It's completely cheating. All that money wasted, man. Oh, that's gotta be the Temple of the Ancients. Look. That's it. It looks like a pyramid. You can see it. La, la, la. I love this music. Uh oh. We had a dead end. I hope not. No, we're still going. The place we passed is called Medieval, and you need an airship to get to it. Here's Temple of the Ancients. So once we have the Keystone, this is where we come back to continue with the plot. But I need the uh, Keystone first. Yeah, I always loved this world theme. This world theme I thought was amazing. So here we are. What, what house is this? What the heck? Huh, another customer. You should have picked an out-of-the-way place, but... If it's the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. I don't have it. Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that? The keystone is the key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. You're not going to believe your ears, but I heard it was the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? Ha 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 ha. Don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. So what a coincidence that I come here and then he tells me all about this. Where's the key stuff? I sold it already. To tell the truth, I didn't really want to sell it. The guy had a way about it that made you feel like it may not be a good idea not to sell it to him. Who did you sell it to? The manager of the Gold Saucer, his name is Dio. Said he was going to put it in his museum, and he took off. So we got to go to the Gold Saucer. There you go. Puck Factor says, no matter what your haters say, I'll think of you as one of the best content creators out there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Where's the temple? We already know that. We just drove by it. We drove by it. We sailed by it. But anyway. Ultimate Destruction Magic. He says you can find the Ultimate Destruction Magic in the Temple of the Ancients. Assume the subject. All the weapons you see here I made myself, but I haven't been able to get materials. Is that it? I can't buy weapons from him? That's silly. Maybe later on. Maybe later on in the game. So I'll just come barging in here. I guess we can't do anything right now. That's interesting, though, that he tells you where to get the keystone. All right. So, on to Wu Tai, which should be this way. Wait, no. Are you serious? Did I get to a dead end? You've got to be joking me. This is a dead end and I can't go this way? Oh, come on. I got to go all the way back around the whole map? I think it maybe really go around the whole map. I hope not. Hope I can go this way. Here's the gold saucer. Oh no, I can't hit a river. Oh yes, you can. You can use the rivers. Oh cool. Look at this. Now we're cruising, bro. Can't go up there. Oh, that's isn't that a secret area? I think that is. I think that's a secret area up there. Nice. I'm glad you can hit the rivers. That's nice. Actually, I'm wondering if the rivers go anywhere else special. Like, is there a secret area anywhere? Huh. Is this Wutai? No, this is Cosmo Canyon. How do I get over there, then? I don't know how to get over there. This is Cosmo Canyon right there. How do you do this? Most of the secret areas require a chocobo. That's right. That's right. Special chocobos that can traverse the map, right? Okay, here it is. This must be it right here. I think I see it. This is it. So let's say we're almost done with today's stream. Maybe I'll just take a couple minutes to get to Wutai, and then we'll call it quits for today. Okay. Where am I going? Uh, this way. Oh. Wait, 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 wait! Huh. What? The hell happened all of a sudden? 
I know this area pretty well. It gets pretty tough past here. Better get ready. <clears throat> ha! I know what you're thinking. And you're saying that just now means you're up to something? Right. No, it's really tough. There they are. Catch them. <clears throat> Shinra. Hey, that's not them. These are the other guys from before. So you're... Oh, so you're... I didn't know. I had nothing to do with this one. What do you mean, this one? This one? So you were planning something. No, um, uh... What should we do? Uh, get them. Grab them and ask questions later. Why do I have no abilities? Wait, what? Why do I have no abilities? Not good. Come on! Finally! So... The hell's going on? I knew something was missing. All my materia is gone. Oh no, all of our materia gone. Hey, where's Yuffie? That shit kid. Bro! She was after all materia from the start. She went north. When I, when I get my hand on her, I'll get all materia back. Come on, we're going after her. She bought, stole every materia. She stole every materia. Shit. Whoa, the seraph comb is really good. See that? Crazy good damage. Eden coat. Let you hold seven materia. Right now it won't help us, but later it might. A moment of silence with no overworld theme for our stolen materia, obviously. All right, I think this is a good, a good place to call it quits for today, everyone. This was a great stream, great progress, right? So I want to say thank you one, yet again. Another stream, tons of engagement, tons of interaction, tons of support, tons of everything good, man. It was a great stream. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Again, I don't remember the order that things happen, so this is kind of neat to re-experience this with all of you. I hope you're all enjoying it as much as I am. I'm having a, a great, relaxing time every time we play this, seriously. So thank you so much, everyone. Until next time.